What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a custom dynamic route in WordPress. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you want to find your way back, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. And on top of that, if you're ever looking for a caching plugin, if you're currently in the market for one, I have a plugin that I highly recommend, which is WP Rocket. It is my favorite caching plugin for WordPress. And there's a link in the description um, to take you to their website. If you end up buying a license, I get a small kickback and the price is the same, whether you visit their site directly or use my link. Um, but it, if you use my link, it does support the channel. All right, so a little bit of an intro to routing here in WordPress and kind of how things are created. Uh, Typically the way a route is created is by either creating a page or a post. And um, we can see that by going back here into our dashboard and looking at all of our posts and seeing that we have a hello world here and as a slug of hello dash world, all lowercase. So if we were to go to our site and go to slash hello dash world, we would get to the contents of that page here. Now you can create, you know, a little bit more um, wild routes, I guess, by, you know, using pages um, and using their hierarchical nature. Um, let's say we wanted a page of characters, you know, and it had, you know, character one and character two. Publish, and now all of a sudden we get a route called characters. We were to create a new page again. And let's say character one has its own page. I guess in this case it's a capital C. And we were to say that this page has a page parent of characters. We publish it. And if we take a look at the, uh, the route here, it's slash characters slash character one. So we can generate these routes and information by creating pages and kind of stacking them with the, uh, with the, the page parents. So that's all fine and dandy if we, first of all, have a set amount of characters um, and we, it's realistic to create a page for each one. Now let's say the information about all the characters is not something that would make sense to create a page for individually. Let's say either there's an extremely high amount number of characters and that that list is rotating. So there's not always going to be the same list of characters and it would be unmanageable to maintain WordPress pages for each one. And or it's coming from an API. And so we don't know what the next level of the route will be. We don't know what the content is. And so therefore we can't create a page for each one to achieve that sort of a hierarchy in our route and being able to display that information. So in comes custom routes. And what we can do is we can capture whatever the uh, route is currently, and then we can do some logic in order to either query an API or you know, check the database for some certain pieces of information, and then use that to render out information about what that character is. So let's uh, go back here to our code. Now, we've only got a couple things here. Oh, and let me, let me uh, touch on one more thing before uh, we move over to the code actually. So I've got Query Monitor installed. It's an amazing plugin that gives us a lot of information. But I really want to uh, show you this particular request tab because it shows this is what our request is. We're on slash character slash character one. And it's saying that it matched a rule and it's got a, a regular expression here. And then it shows us what the matched query ended up being. So what it's doing is WordPress is taking the route and it's trying to translate it into um, a page. And so it has regular expressions that's trying to decipher 
what this URL actually means and where it should send us. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to create our own rule because as soon as WordPress matches one of these regular expressions, it's going to take the contents of the URL, it's going to assign it to some query parameters, and it's going to kind of go through that WordPress funnel and actually render out the proper template. In this case, it's, you know, just the regular index.php because it's kind of defaulting to that. Um, but, you know, in this particular case, if I had a page.php, it would know that it needs to be a page. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own custom route here. And so the first thing that uh, we'll want to do is add an action. Let's open up some PHP tags. And I'm going to close this over here. So on init, we're just going to run an anonymous function and we're going to write, uh, we're going to call a function called add rewrite rule. And the first parameter is the route that you want to match. Now you can say, we're going to say slash, uh, anything after slash characters, we're going to check this regular expression and just, we just want to make sure that this is just, you know, some lowercase alphabetical characters. And it's the last thing in the, um, in the route. And then, so what do we want to do with that match? If it happens, well, we want to send them to index.php and we're going to say that the character is the first match. Now this is indexed at one and not zero. So whatever this regular expression comes back with, it will be popped right into here. And then as far as this last one goes, do we want to put this rule at the top of the stack or the bottom of the stack? So we were kind of looking at these requests here and there was multiple rewrite rules. And so whichever one it comes into contact with first that it matches, that's the one it's going to take. So we want ours to take precedence over everything. So we're going to put it at the top. So this is going to be now something that WordPress watches out for. Now, these query vars right here, this, uh, these query parameters are kind of policed by WordPress. And so we need to say that this character parameter is okay. So we're going to add a filter to the query vars. And what that's going to do is going to say that, Hey, we know that characters could come or character could come in and that's fine. Please don't remove it because if we don't say that we, that we want it here, it will just straight up get rid of it. So what we're going to say on top of that is like, all right, if this character is here, like it, we've, we've matched it. There's something there. WordPress knows about it. We want to render out a page that a page template that we can then use to render out information about the character. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, an action called template include. So right before WordPress renders out the template, whether it's index.php or page.php or whatever, we're going to, we're going to have a little say about what, uh, what actually gets called. So we're going to say, Hey, if that query var that we just said is okay, is not false and it's not blank, or if, if it's false or blank, then just do what you were normally going to do anyway. However, if it's, you know, not false and it's, or it's not blank, then we're going to, uh, return a template of, you know, and this is the path to the template that we want to use. And we're going to do get template directory character.php. We don't have that currently set up. So we're about to set it up, but if that character is present, let's uh, render out this page. So let's, uh, do one thing first before we move on is now that we've added a rewrite rule inside of WordPress, it is, it has no idea that that rewrite rule exists. Even if we were to refresh the page and we tried to go visit that it wouldn't work. The reason is, is that we need to flush our permalinks and you can come into here by going to uh, settings permalinks and just hitting save changes. So it's a permalink stru structure updated and what that's going to do, it's going to see our new, um, 
permalink structure that we're, we're adding, or a new rewrite rule, rather. And it's going to store it in the database. That's how it caches it. So that should work now. And so let's uh, actually create this character.php. So we're going to hit new file, character.php. And let's just do get header, get footer. Now let's echo. I'm the character page, just to make sure everything's working. So if we go to slash characters, if I could spell it, character one. Oh, we still have those pages in there. So that's going to take precedence. Let's see. Pages, characters, characters. Move to trash. Trash it. Delete permanently. All of it. And just for safe measure, settings, permalinks, save changes. Visit site, slash characters, slash character one. Oh, and the reason why it's not matching, haha, -ha, is because we have the dash one in there. And that is not matching our page. That makes sense. I was a little bit confused. Yeah, we set our regular expression to only match if it's A to Z. So it actually had nothing to do with those other two pages. I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense, but we'll try it. But yeah, the request is now matching our rule that we just set up. So that is taking precedence over this page name. If we were to go back and add in that uh, ca slash characters slash character dash one pages, then ours would still take precedence because ours is on top. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so now we've got the character page. Now we need to do, I keep spelling characters wrong. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is what we're gonna, check to see what uh, character is actually being requested. So we're going to go back to our character page. Maybe I'm spelling it right and I've just been looking at it for so long it doesn't make sense anymore. It doesn't look right. It's definitely the latter. So we're going to be using the function of get query var character. So we're going to be able to grab this. So I'm going to refresh and it's saying character. If we were to change this to Alex, it would change to Alex. So now we're instantly grabbing what's in that URL. So in comes kind of the API aspect of this. Let's say that, you know, we're, we're on somebody, you know, where there's a link on our homepage that goes to slash characters slash Tobias. And we're going to hit an API and we're going to check to see if Tobias is a character and then display the information that the API is going to come back with. So we have two characters, obviously in the real world, there'd be thousands, you know, something like that. And it's just got two fields that we want to display from the API. So with this, we're going to make a little like fake API response. And so we're going to do API response is equal to file get contents. And then we're just going to get the contents of the character slug. And then we're going to JSON decode it when it comes back. We're going to set an H1 to the character's name, and we're going to have a paragraph tag with the description in it. So if we were to say Tobias, all of a sudden it grabs the correct information. It's going off to our API and it's saying we want to get uh, Tobias.json or whatever, or do a query on Tobias, and it's going to come back with a JSON object, and it's going to say, all right, well, here's the name, Tobias Funke, and here's the description about him. Now we can, you know, we've got another one in here called Job. And so let's do Job. And now we have that information about Job here as well. And, you know, the kind of 
just to kind of tie this up in a bow here is that we don't have any sort of pages or posts or custom post types. Our site isn't storing any of that data, but we still want to support those routes. So hopefully you learned something in this video. Hopefully this kind of opens up another avenue for creating useful content on your WordPress site. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting me. And if you are interested in joining uh, my Patreon, we just did a uh, video, an exclusive video that is, on getting set up with Timber and WordPress. And there was another video recently about um, deploying WordPress with Git and getting set up with Headless WordPress and Gatsby. So some pretty good uh, content there if you want to check it out. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>